how we see ourselves is far more important than how they see us. Magufulification, meaning to make something faster and cheaper. Magufulify, defined as render or declare an action faster or cheaper, are two words that were coined out from Magufuli, the man who is victorious in death. John Pompey Joseph Magufuli, the son of a peasant farmer who became the president of the United Republic of Tanzania in the year 2015, has helped us redefine leadership in African context. To share with us about the success of Magufuli is my great friend and brother, Sangito Emmanuel. Please feel welcome, dear viewers, and I welcome our guest today as he answers three questions. And the first question is, what was Tanzania like before Magufuli became the president? And the second question, what are the policies that Magufuli put in place? And number third question, which is the last question, is how can we as a people follow through the legacy that Magufuli left behind? Thank you for hosting me, my friend Pelumi Fularin. And I remember those years that we met, uh, we met together in Nairobi some six years back, uh, 2015, I think. And uh, since then, we have been good friends. And uh, today you have invited me to, to join you in discussing about the, something that is going on in Tanzania as a country. So thank you very much, God bless you. So my name is Sangito, as you said, Sangito Emmanuel, and I am living in Tanzania, the country which is in the eastern part of Africa. And um, for the past five years, Tanzania has become uh, one of the countries of, on discussion because of the actions of the of President John Pombe, John uh, Magufuli, because everyone knows his actions, which he did since 2015. And we regret that we have just lost him, and uh, it was a very, very sad news to, to have learned that he just passed away on the 17th of this March, 2021. And um, we are still mourning. We have 21 days of mourning. Yeah, so that is what is going on in Tanzania. But so back to the questions that you gave me, that uh, what is Tanzania before Magufuli in 2015, like, like how the country was. So to just answer that question, Tanzania before 2015 was a country which uh, actually was characterized by corruption. And uh, corruption was just like a song of the day the public sector, the public services were not well given. The public servants were not responsible. So the country was in a, not in a good, uh, good condition politically. I mean, politically in the, in the sense that uh, the politicians were there, the president was there, but the public sector was not working in the, in the condition that they were supposed to, do, to, to, to work. Uh, the provision of social services was not that of that much quality as it is today. 
the education system, okay, the education was there, but it was not provided in a quality way, and it, it's not everyone who could afford. And um, in terms of uh, corruption, for example, the corruption was of a high level. In the government projects, for example, the projects would be signed, but some people would, would tamper with the money, and the projects maybe could not be completed. So we had problems, a lot of. However, the president was doing his best to, to make the country go. But there was a problem in the, in the system. So uh, that was uh, a little bit of how Tanzania was before Magufuli in 2015. Uh, I remember some, 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 some ministers would even go abroad and sign fake contracts. Uh, the mining sector was terrible because the country, the, 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 the country was not benefiting from the resources, natural resources, especially the, the, the mining sector. Tanzania is blessed with natural resources like gold. We have uh, natural gas, but the country was not benefiting that much because the contracts were mostly signed. These contracts were mostly exploitative. Mm. It is the investors, and these investors are the Europeans, the Westerners, and they could they could harvest a lot from the, uh, our natural resources, and we uh, we as citizens could not get that direct uh, profit and direct impact of the projects of the of the of the natural resources that we had. So the country was in that way, uh, just to give a little bit of the picture how the country was. And uh, President Magufuli was not a new person in the government. Uh, he, he, he had been a minister in different uh, ministries. And by the time he was becoming a president, was running for presidential election, he, he was in the infrastructural uh, ministry. So um, he had done a lot to make sure that the country is connected with Tamak Road, all the regions. So he was a person who could take the, the country from where it was to another level, or another level of development. So he was a right person by then. Um, and a thank to President uh, Kikwete, who made sure that the country is going to get someone who would make changes. Uh, so the time that Magufuli got into power, wow, things changed. In a very short time, things were now seen working. So that is... Um, about how Tanzania was before Magufuli. And to come to your second question, your uh, second question asked about what policies did Magufuli implement, especially to the poor, especially to the majority of Tanzanians, that he would become firm loved by the majority, loved by the poor people. And today in his morning, I mean in the in morning of his passing on, we see everyone is touched with his passing on, his death. So what I can say is uh, President Magufuli um, was a man of action, a result oriented person, a president who determined to be a president 
who could speak something and it happens. So the moment he came into power as a president, he had to make some great changes. And the first thing that he did was to make sure that he get into the public sector. And you know what? Many ghost workers, ghost workers, because you have uh, the, the workers who were in the payroll, the government payroll, but they were really not there. So they were just ghost workers. About, I think, 19,000, 19,000, 19 plus thousand ghost workers were were deleted from the payroll. So the government saved billions of dollars, I mean millions of dollars, which is to, to our Tanzanian shillings, it is billions of money. Also, there was, there, there was this problem also of workers who had fake certificates. They had got into, uh, into government jobs, into government positions, in the public sector, but they were really not having uh, qualified professions. They had used fake certificates and they were employed and they were being paid uh, salaries by the government. So about around 11,000 uh, workers with fake certificates were deleted from the government uh, payroll. So this happened within very short time uh, after the 2015 election. And Magufuli went down to the, to the poor people and he was, he was determining, uh, he was um, identifying himself as a person who cares about the poor. Why? Because during I mean, the time before his reign, I mean, his presidency, uh, there was a very big gap between the rich and the, and the poor, between the haves and the have nots. The haves had controlled every sector, uh, in the mining, in the industry, everywhere. It's the rich. The rich had a voice. They could do anything even to lobby with the government officials, etc. So President Magufuli made sure that he, go, he goes down to the poor to make sure that he lift them up to have a voice. So you have these small businesses which worked. The small business people were given mandate to do their business wherever they want. And uh, uh, the, 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 the business environment in Tanzania became very good to everyone who could uh, need to, to do a business. He invested in, in infrastructure, strategic, strategic, uh, strategic projects like tarmac roads, he has invested in um, in, in, in railway project, uh, building of the standard gauge railway uh, across the country, which joins from the uh, Dar es Salaam port to 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 Kigali, Rwanda, the neighboring country, and that after the, the, the this project is complete. It will be a very, a very um, important route to develop our economy as a country. So President Magufuli has um, he identified himself as a, a world pan-African president who in always, always in his meetings, in his rallies, in his uh, speeches, he could say that Tanzania is not poor. And that is the truth. That is the fact. We are not poor. 
Africans are not poor, but it is the attitude. The attitude of the Africans, we see like we are poor, but we are not. Because all the resources that we need for our development are there. We have minerals. We have natural gases. We have forests. We have national parks. We have uh, good arable land for agriculture. Africa do not need to cry that you don't have food. You don't need to be dependent on the Europeans, on the technology, we have talents, etc. So all these made uh, Magufuli to be famous and to be loved. Uh, coming to the third question, like how do we live on the legacies of Magufuli? So to me, with my opinion, we needed to live what he lived. We needed to live what he believed. We needed to live on the actions of President Magufuli. The, 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 the country which is free from corruption, the country which observes human rights, it observes the development of individual people, the poor people, where everyone is equal, everyone has opportunity to work, to do business, etc., etc. But also, we need to live as Africans, not depending on anyone. We can develop our own projects, our own natural resources. We can develop from there. And we can live that. And I speak this to the African leaders. Please be Africans. Don't be dependent because the, the Europeans are there to exploit Africa. We need to be pan-Africanists and we need to develop our Africa. So much more to speak about President Magufuli, but maybe this could be enough for today. Thank you very much for hosting me. I am blessed and honored to, to, to be on this show. Thank you very much. Until next time, thank you. Hope you have enjoyed listening to my friend's point of view on how Magufuli magufulified the United Republic of Tanzania. Thank you for staying true. If you have not subscribed to our TV, kindly subscribe. Thank you and thank you again, dear friend Sangeke. May they that love this great continent find great joy, success and fulfillment in their journey. Many thanks.